the Alice Trepler murder trial is winding down with the defense presenting closing arguments this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. I'm Scott Cook. Thanks for choosing WEMY HD News at 6. Looks like the jury will get the case tomorrow after the DA gives the prosecution's closing argument. Then deliberations should begin to decide if there's proof that Alice Trapler was behind the plan to kill the father of her baby. WENY HD's Tangerake has the Larry late, very latest from Schuyler County Court in Watkins Glen. Renata and Scott, all the evidence is in. The witnesses have testified, and today the defense made their closing statement. Defense attorney Susan Betchatomer told the jury that she's going to tell them why Alice Trapler should be found not guilty in just two minutes. She pointed out how Trapler plans and carries things out for a living working at a construction company. She digs holes for a living, is smart, and if she planned the murder, they would still be looking for the body and gun. Betch Tomer says Alice wouldn't have planned a murder with two witnesses present, and if she did plan the murder, she had access to acres of land to bury the body in and the gun. She had heavy digging equipment. She had a way to lure the victim, Daniel Bennett, to her house because he wanted to see their baby. There was no plan, so you can't be a part of a conspiracy or a plan when there is no plan. Two, there were at least two other people with the evidence would fit perfectly well that they were the murderer or the shooter instead of um, Alice or even Thomas Wesley Borden, oddly enough. Defense attorney Betch Tomer says the police conducted a poor investigation, saying there was no DNA on the crime scene other than that of the victim and his father, Frank Bennett. What defense counsel said doesn't change our theory of the case one bit. I'm prepared to argue tomorrow just the way that I would had she not ever said anything today. DA Joe Fazari will make his closing statement tomorrow and then it goes to the jury. In Watkins Glen, Tangerake, WENY HD News.